Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video I'm going to try to show you how you can try to overcome the CrowdStrike problem using Active Directory and Group Policy. I'm a 20-time Microsoft MVP, so hopefully you can trust me here. What is true, though, is that this is use at your own risk advice. If it doesn't work, sorry. Uh, I don't have the problem myself. Uh, I can try to simulate the problem, and I can also try to simulate solving the problem. Um, I found a couple of these solutions online. They seem plausible, but since I don't have it directly, I can't ex exactly test it, but I can simulate it. To get started, the problem here is that there's a, a file called c-0000291.sys that's hanging out in C Windows System32 drivers. That's the problem. Another way to get, and the goal is to try to delete this thing. Another way to try to get out of this is to actually stop the CrowdStrike service. I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. Now, the problem, of course, is that you're already in blue screen of death mode. However, if you reboot the machine a few times, a couple things might happen. One, you might get lucky and CrowdStrike magically updates itself. Two, you might get lucky and the network stack gets hot and then group policy gets hot and then these two tricks I'm about to show you will work. So between those three things, hopefully one of them will work. So what I'm going to do for my eSales desktops, I'm going to right click and create a GPO here. And for those eSales desktops here, I'm going to turn off crowd strike service. Okay. So it doesn't matter what the name is exactly, but again, I'm linking it over to where my desktops are. My computer, um, Win 10, whatever its name is, is hanging out in there. I know that for a fact. Give this a second to catch up. Now your group policy editor is going to look a little bit different than mine probably because I've got Netrix Policy Pack installed. I'm the founder and CTO of uh, Netrix Policy Pack. We're not going to use any of those functions. We're going to just use the group policy and group policy preferences functions. Where your computers are, okay, that's where we're at. So we've got the GPO linked to your eSales desktops. So you're going to go on the computer side and go to preferences and go to control panel and look for services, all right? You don't have to have the service on this box to actually perform this first operation. You can go to new service, okay? And you're going to change the startup to disabled and the, sur whoops, the uh, to startup to disabled, make sure it's disabled. And the, um, the actual name of the service is called CS Falcon service, CS Falcon service. Make sure it's all one word, CS Falcon service, okay? The service, oh, actually, nope, this, this uh, yeah, disabled here, and the service action is stop the service, okay? So now we've changed the startup type to disabled, and the service action is stop service. So we're changing the action and the startup. So this will actually just like kill it dead in two ways. You don't need to log on and give this a shot. So now that we've done that, you can see that this is um, set in those configurations, stop service and disabled. What I'm gonna also do just to put a fine point on it is I'm gonna show you this exact same thing using the spooler service as an example so you can see that it works because I don't have this thing. So I already go to services.msc here. I'm just proving that this technique will work, okay? So if I just show you my spooler service as an example, okay, if I were to go to spooler, okay, print spooler rather, here we go, print spooler. Its name is spooler, okay? So you can see its service name is spooler. What we're gonna try to do is do this exact same thing. We're gonna change the startup type to disabled and change the service to stopped. So watch how we do that. Same exact thing, I'm just proving to you that this technique works. So if I go to new service here and I type spooler, Again, this is optional. It's only, this is just for demonstration purposes to prove that this thing's gonna work. If I go to startup, disabled, and service action change, stop service, okay, and click apply. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I run a quick GP update in this machine. Let me go ahead and, I'll just leave that up there. All right, now I'm not even gonna run with an admin command prompt. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just run GP update, but again, if your computer, uh, gets lucky and gets the network stack going. Okay, this is the exact same experience that would happen in the background. So now I'm gonna just reboot the machine. Uh, let's go ahead and do that and we'll see the spooler service actually, um, uh, well, let's see what happens when we come back. Let's take a look. Okay, I've restarted, Windows is starting back up. Let's go ahead and re-log on here. Okay, so let's see if my group policy preferences item, the GPO that's linked over to those computer sides, actually did the job. Oh, 
We'll open up services. And let's go to P for print, whoops, let's go to P for print spooler here. And you can see that the service is stopped and disabled. So again, this is exactly what you want to have happen for the CrowdStrike service. And again, this is the policy that you want. So you can use preferences, services, um, CS, Falcon service, and you want to stop it and disabled. So that is the end of part one. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to create another one for part two, which is how to delete that file using a script.